Hello and welcome back. So I've been working on a project that I started a while ago that basically lets you create structures from a config file. So you can see there's many different shapes and sizes of buildings that you can create. And if you wanted to change the building here, you can just load a new config and these can be saved in a external file and you can toggle the editing so now we have a nice little gazebo here instead so this is really cool for like city building and um, RPG whatever basically any game that has buildings in it um, very cool and as I said, LPA Games has been helping me, so uh, I'll put a link to his socials in the description. Definitely go check him out. So the project is still in beta, and there's a lot of features that we would like to add, but I just wanted to show you some of the things that we do have working. So, so the idea here is that everything is built from pillars. And we, we recently got it to work in the, uh, with, the, with the editor. So you can see when you move one of these pillars, it adjusts the ceiling and the windows and all of that. So, and the floor in here. So that's pretty cool. And it's pretty easy to add a new pillar. You'll just want to in the pillar config, you can just add a new element. And if you zoom in now, you should be able to find the new pillar. Oh, it's over here. So, and then you can just move this and resize it from the editor. So that's all pretty cool. So if I were to make another pillar, and we're working on making this more user-friendly as well, but yeah, so basically you'll just want to add the pillars, and then you can go to the config. So you can see these are numbered in the editor, uh, 7 and 8. So those IDs are what you'll want to refer to. And so if you make a new wall, now you can set pillar 1 to 7 and pillar 2 to 8. And now we have a wall here between the two pillars that we just added. So that's pretty cool and you can change the material as well. So I have the bricks material here, so I can just apply that <coughs> to the material, and you can change the pillars as well. So you can see here there's like a low stone wall with uh, some wooden pillars, so very cool. And of course, you can add additional walls to an existing building to, to make a new room on the side here. So then in the wall config, if you want to add windows, there's a windows array. You'll add a new window config, and you can set the position like so. And we're working on uh, different kinds of windows. So here is a cutout with an arched um, top. So eventually you'll be able to select different options here. And the door is very much the same. Under the doors array, you'll add a, a new window config is still. And then you can set the height there and now the door is on the ground, so this you'll have to adjust manually for now, but it's all pretty pretty easy to use if you know where the options are. 
So as you can see here, LPA Games has made some really nice looking buildings just by having some normals on the textures and then a different kind of window. As I said, we're working on different configurations for those. And I also wanted to say a big thank you to our patrons, Eero, Paul, Hilton, Bo Habib, John, Terrence, Ryan, and Sean. Thank you all so much for your support on the Rainbow Games Patron Patreon. I really appreciate it and it helps us continue making free and open source tools. And you can see that the ceilings and floors are just a array of pillar IDs. So if you go to the ceiling config, there's a material and thickness and the scale you can use to for like the gazebo to have like a tiered layered effect which is pretty cool LPA games added that but in the ceiling perimeter you can see if you just delete one of these now it's just a triangle so you just need to add the pillars around the perimeter of the floor and ceiling in a clockwise direction and then you can change it to editing mode to hide the ceiling which is very cool and then I've been experimenting with the roofs so if you go if you add a pillar in the middle for the peak or multiple pillars then in the roof config you can add a new roof so the you'll have an exterior perimeter and you'll need to put in the pillar IDs and I think this has to be in clockwise order and then you'll set the interior pillars and then you can toggle this so now you'll have a roof and if it doesn't show up you might just need to reverse the order of your pillars so like I said I'm still still working on that but then you can add a material like the other ones and now we have a nice brick roof um, another thing is we'll want to have like a hidden um, pillar so it doesn't have a collision box but like I said it's a work in progress there's a lot of features we want to add so here's how you can use it as is in the current state um, I'll put a link to the github repository currently I'm calling it go.build so but with like a like a period go.build so uh, I might change the name I don't know but uh, I'll put a link to the repository and be sure to check out LPA Games. So, and big thank you to him for helping me with this project. And uh, thank you all for watching and have a great day.